today we're playing Saints Row the Third on the PlayStation 3. This is probably going to be a long ass video. I apologize, but I'm sure you'll get by. It's just kind of a weird game to start off on, but most of the videos I've seen don't really start from scratch. And they kind of just start in the middle of gameplay, so I figured um why not show the whole thing? But you know, that's just what I'm going to do. Sorry, I spaced out there for a second. It's been a crazy day. So now we have an awesome loading screen with a little catchy tune. I played the first Saints Row games. This actually came with the second Saints Row as well. Um. This game's a lot more campier than the other Saints Rows. Um, I always thought that that like the Saints Rows game had potential, but they kind of got repetitive after a while. And the fact that you had to keep on like gaining like certain territories to progress and stuff like that, and like this game kind of gets rid of all that, and it kind of gives you. A lot of stuff to do up front and it's a lot more campy and one thing that it did right like the at the time at least I guess San Andreas was out when the first Saints Row came out one thing it did right was the aiming system and everything seemed to be like really good versus like holding the shoulder buttons to lock on and stuff so yeah the third one, it's Saints Row, is pretty amazing, and that's why we're playing it. That's why I'm recording it. Although I have recorded shitty games before, so I guess that's not really why I'm recording it. My ADD apparently today is at an all-time high, so if I pause, I apologize. I'm trying to deliver a decent commentary here, but you know, sometimes I always don't get what I want. So I guess. This is kind of the ending of the second game, which I've never finished, so I can't answer. Oh, no, this is an advertisement. I haven't played this in a long time. But I'm glad this game kind of came onto its own thing on the third one. This is really cool. It's, it's a lot sillier. It's pretty ridiculous, actually. What's sad is that's not much of a parody of um of the actual commercials because most commercials are kind of stupid. Grand Larson is right up there. You ready for this? No worries. So I do my own stunts. Yeah, this game kind of um starts you out in the action a little bit. Actually, I don't want to watch all this cutscene shit. We've had enough. Alright, so we're playing as a bobblehead version of Johnny Cat. So you hold L1 to zoom in, and then R1 to shoot, just like I like it. And you actually have unlimited ammo on this part, so that's pretty cool. The only thing I wish that they do a little bit better was uh, the cover system. I wish, I wish it was like more like Grand Theft Auto in that respect, where you could hide behind stuff. Grand Theft Auto 4 basically perfected the targeting system in this game. I wish they would have copied it, but I like how this game focuses more on action, and you don't have like a shitty life bar or anything like that. You don't have to drive and look for a hot dog stand or stuff like that which is kind of annoying I know it's not the most realistic approach but either is eating a hot dog to recharge health it's kinda of sad how impatient and stuff I've gotten the older I got when I have got with games or like I just don't want to deal with looking for health packs I just want to hide behind a corner and recharge just want to get up and play. If I want to play a long, drawn-out game, I'll play a RPG. And I guess that's the kind of the attitude the people who made this game take place. Alright, square is the reload, if you want to know. 
sometimes I just play these games without even remembering like how to play them because the controls are similar to a, other first person shooters so so like you instinctively know how to play I heard this is actually a really good version of this game it's a little bit fuzzy because it has the PlayStation's version of anti-aliasing, the hardware version. I forgot what it's called. It's whatever that Q, the thing that starts with the Q. I don't want to even attempt to say it. Uh, tell, I'll butcher the word because I can't remember what it was called offhand. But I'm sure you can look it up if you're interested in the tech. Oh, you gotta sign autographs. Plant the explosives. Here we go. When I got this game, I was kind of wary, but I was pleasantly surprised very quickly. Like Grand Theft Auto, if your character started with like a billion dollar budget, instead of like starting from the bottom, you're already at the top more than likely. How long until the chopper gets here? I don't know. Probably like two waves of SWAT guys. Sounds about right. Oh, where are they coming? Defend my Are you serious? Where's my gun? Either I forgot how to select the guns are. Or they took my weapons away and I wasn't paying attention because I was talking. I'd really like a gun. I have a gun. Man, I feel stupid. I picked the other one. I want my 8K47. At least I think that's what it is. Oh, shoot these guys. The environments are fairly destructible. As I said that, that thing won't come down. This is made by the people who made Red Faction. I don't know if it runs on the same engine or not. It's not nearly as destructible as that. Uh, I better get out of the way or something. <sighs> Very mean people. Oh, a rocket launcher? I didn't even look. No, I don't have one. This control is very much like a first person shooter. When they put the demo out on PlayStation Network, it wasn't even a real demo, it's just to create your own character. Which was kind of fun. But I still had no idea what the actual game was like. Luckily it was cool. I uh, shoot my own people. Colorblind. I can't always tell who's purple and who's not. That's really pathetic. I don't know if that's really considered a real disability or not. Do you even have to reload this gun? Yeah. You do. Come on. It's like an automatic Pez dispenser and these guys are hungry. Alright. Come on. Get it. Come and get it. <laughs> As you can see, this game does not take itself seriously. Please autograph and then put down your gun. 
Where's, it's funny to see like posters of Johnny Cat like everywhere. Like this city glorifies the bad guys. Uh, so this is a little bit more action packed than I remember the other Saints Rose. I'm still alive. Come on. Come and get it. It's enough for everyone. Let's go. This ride's a little bit shaky. So glad it wasn't me. I'd be terrified. <laughs> I don't know whether I'd be more terrified of the heights or being shot at. It's a hard one. So I'm too wussy to even get on roller coasters. Uh oh. This game wouldn't be nearly as appealing if he didn't have that gigantic bobblehead on. Oh uh, no. Well, shit. Well, we got some respect. I hope so. That was pretty awesome. I don't know if the average person would be capable of doing something like that, but you know, that's just my personal opinion. Customize a character. Let's see. None of these people look like anybody I would want to play as. Hmm. Everybody looks kind of douchey. I'll start with this guy. So here we are, we get to create our own character. There's a surprising variety of um, options here. Not as much as like you would say like a wrestling game, but enough. The controlling is a little bit odd on this. You have to kind of back out of stuff, build. I wonder how fat the fattest guy is. That's pretty fat. I try to make my character look somewhat like me, but I don't know how close it's going to be. Well, he's awkward shaped enough. Alright. See, skin. Make him a little bit more pale. Not that pale. That's good enough. Alright. <laughs> Sex appeal. Oh yeah, the girls have the boobs and the guys have the crotch area, I guess. It's funny. It's a little ridiculous though. We'll put it at 50% to be modest. How old do they look? This is the oldest. It's not very old looking. It's like 70. Huh. Let's see what it looks like at my age. I'll be 28 soon, so we'll go with that. Apparently, according to this game, I should have some wrinkles by now. Oh well. <laughs> I 
we'll go with farmer's fan or whatever. We'll go to his face. Let's see what we should look like. Features. Oh, I gotta have a chin dimple. I didn't see it. I'm colorblind as shit. So it doesn't even show you where they are? No. Should be a little bit more descriptive about where it is. That's good enough. Alright, let's go back. Forehead, let's see what we have here. I really can't tell with the douchey haircut. Alright. We'll accept. And the brows are actually fairly close I'll leave it at that eyes Let's see eyebrow eyeball size it kind of looks like solid snake right there I wish I looked like solid snake Eye color. I'm um, color blind as shit. Luckily, it tells me that's brown. Ch cheekbones. Uh, nose. Nose is a little bit above average, I hate to say. <coughs> wow, all these noses suck. Come on, tip height. Tip width, here we go. Tip depth. Oh, man. I don't even know what I'm doing here. I guess we can go to slip height. All right, this is going to make for a boring video. jaw, whatever. I'll just give him some cool hairdo. Call it a day. One thing about some of these games is everything's so extravagant. There's not like one hairdo that's really just normal. Oh, 
let's just go with this one. Yep, that's fine. Looks okay to me. Personality, voice. Easy kids, but Saints Row is good. So much chaos, so little time. My next idea, stripper vision. It'd be like your own personal stripper in a giant. <laughs> as long as I'm having fun, it's all good. Saints Row is this money. It's on my pop. Everywhere I go. I hope you book me. Does it my next? As long as I'm having fun. How come you can't buy a stock in murder? I don't that shit. These kids with their video games. When I was their age, I spent my time outside. None of these voices are appealing, but I'll pick that one. Oh, this will feel good. There's really not much commentary that you can say about them. That's ridiculous enough for me. Where'd I go? Hey, hey, you lost me. Wait, you just up. Woo! That's ridiculous enough. I think I have my setup here. You don't get to pick what outfit you are? I feel gypped. Alright, except. I apologize that that character selection screen was so long. Should have been shorter, but oh well. I warned you guys it was going to be a long video anyway. But I apologize because I want you guys to watch my videos, so I'm not trying to be a jerk about it or anything. We got arrested. I don't want to watch the cutscene. I think I put you guys through enough. So, <laughs> we're on a plane now if you didn't already figure that out. Alright, beat the shit out of everybody. Yeah, I was hoping you'd take them. Now we have a fire on. Way to go. See, that's uh, basically all the cover you have. It's just ducking. I don't know if you can tell, but the plane's taking like a sharp dive or something. It's just throwing his balance off. Kind of like in Charted, Uncharted, but I don't think this g game really has that complex of physics. It's probably just faking it. Uh-oh. Now I've jumped now to the plane. Maybe it would have been best to watch that cutscene. I don't know. Outer space. Really? I don't know if zooming in will help or not. As you can see, this game's a little bit outrageous, but we don't mind outrageous. Oh, I guess they're under me now. See, even though it's kind of a copycat of Grand Theft Auto, I don't remember doing anything this extreme in Grand Theft Auto, so... This is basically one of the Saints Row's game, in my opinion, that... Well, THE Saints Row's game, that, in my opinion, that's really gone off to do its own thing. There's a few little subtle things on the other Saints Row's that... 
Can I shoot those damn boxes? Or am I just fucked? Something tells me I'm just fucked. But like in other Saints Row games, you can customize your character and stuff. I guess that's original for this genre. That's what I do best. I don't think it's over yet. Yeah, I think so too. Shit. That's fancy stuff right there. Take that, Michael Bay. I think. Alright. I see some red arrows. That means something's probably going to try to kill me. At this point, you would think that I'd be used to it. Wow, avoid every area except the area that I need to shoot. I can't aim it all the way at some of these guys. But I'll try. Uh, I gotta catch her. Punch him in the face. Shoot him. Yeah. So this game is just meant to be fun. That's something I really appreciate. <laughs> A lot. I like how this game kind of makes fun of itself. It There's no point in this game where it takes itself seriously. And I like that a lot. I mean I love Grand Theft Auto. And I can't wait till Grand Theft Auto 5 comes out. But I have to say. This really helps tie the weight over. This is a very fun game. I wish my commentary is a little bit better, but I'm just like, you know, <laughs> I, I find myself watching it and wanting to play it, which it's kind of lame to record like a video like that, I guess, and I'm not trying to downplay the videos or anything, because I wanted to show you guys all this stuff, but, you know, I'm free falling, but I know, like, it's kind of a spacey video. But I warned that you guys at the beginning that it was going to be a long video. Just wish I had to say it was more exciting because I, I want you guys, people are, that haven't subscribed already to subscribe and not uh, like be scared away by the commentary on some of these videos. I know they're not always the best, but some games like I have to like think more than others or I end up watching it and stuff like that. So, yeah. So if you thought this video was kind of boring or whatever, don't let it scare you away or anything like that. Just um, watch some of the other videos or whatnot because the commentary is good sometimes. It just depends what kind of game it is. This was one of those games that are really kind of self-explanatory. This is very Grand Theft Auto. But I'm going to end the video here because I'm just going to end the video here because I... I think it would be ridiculously long unless it was a playthrough, which maybe I'll do in the future, but I'd have to th think it out a little bit more, because I'm not 100% familiar with everything because I haven't finished this game and I don't know exactly what to do. But anyway guys, thanks for watching, please remember to like and subscribe and leave a comment on this video, and remember to check out the channel description where... I have a list of consoles, and if there's a game that you want me to play on any of those consoles, I'll be more than happy to play it. And that'll make it interesting for me, because I'm not only making you guys happy by selecting things that you guys want to watch, but I don't have to think about what to play or what you guys would want to see. So it makes it fun for both of us. And may I'm thinking about maybe doing a 
changing the up the channel intros or any and stuff like that like or if there's like special features or something that other channels are doing that you would like to see on this channel please feel free to make suggestions and if there was a change in the intro like I'm thinking about changing like just the way it looks nothing major nothing too long nothing drawn out it would probably be the same length but um do you guys have any suggestions or anything I'm trying to include you guys with all this stuff but anyway, thank you guys for watching and take care and I look forward to talking to you guys on the next video.